up everybody, this is Mike Money. I'm one of the assistant athletic directors here and uh, part of my job is overseeing Military Appreciation Day. So then as we come into pregame, uh, we have a whole slew of activities and today is even more unique because it's mixed with Senior Day. So we'll be kind of back and forth with Senior Day activities and Military Appreciation Day activities. Uh, but one of the, a couple of the cool things you're really gonna see in pregame is uh, we're gonna have a jump team that's gonna jump in. The first jumper will be the Tiger bringing down the game ball. Our second the second jumper should have the Clemson flag. And then the third jumper will be bringing in the American flag. We have two F-16s flying over today, which we're super excited about. They're out of the Shaw Air Force Base. Uh, they'll fly over at the end of the national anthem. Another group we're gonna recognize in pregame is our family of fallen soldiers. Really important group to us, and we're uh, fortunate enough to be able to recognize them all right, so let's touch on Senior Day a little bit. First, we'll introduce the senior support staff. We'll do that in the West End Zone. So uh, it, it's really great for us to be able to recognize the guys that kind of go a little bit behind the scenes there. Uh, so we'll recognize them and their families. And then we'll recognize our senior parents uh, so we can see the ones who are supporting all those seniors that are out in the field. Hi, Clemson fans. I'm sorry to say it's the last game my son will be running down the hill. It's given him a lot of guidance. And I want to thank all the Tiger fans and Clemson family. Thanks. Hi, I'm Dorian's Pops, and I just want to give a big salute to Clemson and the university and the community and the staff for being a great program. It's matured Dorian so much, and to see him play his last game here is epic. It's so monumental for us because we saw him mature as a young man, and you know I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of the opportunity for him to play at Clemson and what he's done at Clemson is epic also. So I give a salute to you, the fans and the community and the staff and the team and I love you Dorian. We love you. Peace. Love you. And then the last part of senior day, um, we'll let all of our seniors take one last kind of solo trip down the hill. Uh, so with about 10 minutes on the pregame clock, each senior will get introduced at the top of the hill, come down the hill, take a picture with Coach Sweeney and then uh, run across the field and they'll be greeted there by their family. The second time out of the game, um, we're also going to have our Hero of the Game segment, which is a normal one for us, uh, but we're super excited to be able to have Colonel Ben Scarden as the person who's being recognized for that. I think everybody's aware of his story, but he's a hundred years old, survivor of the Bataan Death March, um, and just an absolute incredible story. So we're, we're very excited to have uh, Colonel Scarden as our guest today too. As we go into halftime, we'll start off by recognizing our veterans in the West End Zone. Uh, we'll play the service medley to where all veterans, whether they're in the end zone or in the stands, are able to stand up and be recognized as their service song is played. After that, we kind of have our more solemn uh, part of halftime where we'll have the Soldier's Cross, Laying of the Wreath, 21-Gun Salute, 
and uh, playing of taps. Uh, we do this to pay tribute to all those who have fallen in the line of service and obviously it's just a small token of our appreciation to be able to show how grateful we are to them. So our big surprise today at halftime is we have Lee Greenwood coming in to sing his song, uh, God Bless the USA, with the band. Hope you've enjoyed a little insight into uh, what Military Appreciation Day and Senior Day is going to be like, and I hope you enjoy today's game. Hey, good morning. I'm Ben Hall, former Clemson Tiger. A Big Ben's desserts is what I'm up to now. Uh, Self-taught baker, taught myself everything I know about baking. Uh, started my own business, uh, very passionate about it, so it's very special to be back here at Clemson University making cakes for the seniors on their last go around. Tiger Nation, this is the judge, and we're in the locker room, and as you all know, uh, today is uh, Senior Day, and we're celebrating our seniors. And I can't think of a better way than, than to provide each one of our graduates with a cake. And as you can see in our lockers, we have cakes for all of our seniors. That means that we're proud of them. We're celebrating their journey. We're celebrating what they've done up to this point. But also, hopefully, this will be something that will always commemorate, something they will remember the rest of their lives, something that they will tell their children that when they graduated, Clemson did a little thing like celebrate with their favorite cake. So hey, no place like Clemson. But it's the least we could do. You all gave us 100%. We're still all in as you go into your fifth quarter. So if there's anything else we can do for you guys, we're always here for you. Tigers for life, A, best is the standard. Hey, man, I got a cake. I don't know what it's for though. It's from uh, Paul Journey for all the seniors. Paul Journey? Oh, that's big time. Man, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Jeff Davis, Allison Waymire, and uh, Savannah. Well, this, this is big. I graduate in December. Uh, I really appreciate this. They do so much for us. Well, I like that the football and just to show a little bit of their appreciation. And uh, we're appreciate all. we appreciate y'all much more. Uh, love y'all. Go Tigers. Yeah, Paul Journey. Y'all go get lit now, man. <laughs> So that's going to do it for Clemson vs. Citadel. Now let's send it back to special blog correspondent Allie Kearns for some closing thoughts on the 2017 home season. Thanks, Andy. So this is my last home game as a Clemson student, and I'm just having a really hard time realizing that things won't be getting pretty lit anymore. The rivalry games, not much has to be said. Um, a lot of emotions, a lot of bragging rights on the table. Um, for the whole year round, whoever wins this game, they get to talk about it nonstop, and we're looking forward to it. Man, honestly, yo, this rivalry is a big deal. Big deal for the people uh, in the state of South Carolina. Obviously means a lot for our season. You know, uh, one of our team goals, so uh, it's a big deal. You know, just definitely a lot more at stake, a lot of bragging rights to see who's the best. In the, in the state and everything and you know he's definitely he, there's definitely a lot to prove and I know it means a lot to our fans so we plan on getting the win this Saturday. So the rivalry is definitely huge for me being an in-state guy. Um, growing up my classmates either we're at Clemson or Garnett it was just you know it was one or the other you, you pick and chose at an early age so for me it's definitely personal and uh, to be able to go in that environment at 7:30 at night and play those guys I can't wait 
It's uh, everything you dream of as a kid, and I'm excited. Uh, when I step out on the field on Saturday night, I'm going to be playing for the seniors um, to be able to say that we went undefeated against South Carolina Gamecocks. So on Saturday, when I step onto the field, you know, I'll definitely just be playing for my brothers to my left and my right, um, you know, because, you know, there's no more important bond than my teammates and everything. I uh, love all my guys, love all my teammates, um, and especially those seniors too, because, you know, uh, you know, this is their last time against South Carolina, so I want to, you know, help them as much as I can to do my job and make sure we get the win. I'm going to be playing for the state, uh, representing the state of South Carolina, uh, you know, born and raised. Um, you know, we're going into enemy territory. We're going to need all our Clemson fans there, you know, wearing y'all's orange proud. So we'll see y'all at 730, when it was Bryce. I'm Donna McCain, the executive performance chef. And I'm Hallie Foreman, the performance chef. I went to school at Johnson & Wales. I studied culinary nutrition there uh, with a minor in leadership studies. We develop all of the menus, all with a nutrition focus. So uh, hopefully the guys don't know that anything's healthy, but we do our little tricks behind the scenes, um, thinking about protein fortifying and just making sure they're recovering through the food that they eat. Um, the biggest part of it, though, is making sure they like what they're eating or they'll just go to Bojangles or get something that's not really fueling them for their, their best performance. Um, so tonight what we're doing is a huge family style dinner. So anything that the guys might have on their Thanksgiving at home, we wanted to bring to the table here. Uh, we're one big family here, so it's just like cooking for your family, but 300 of them. You can see we have a ton of different shapers. We have, I think it's 19 different food options that we've been working on since 5.30 this morning. Yeah, I got here at 5.30 this morning, and we started prepping yesterday. So it's just so much food, and we have the food that we're doing, um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the guys at, like, anyway. So we do it all at the same time, and we make it work. We always make it work. What's up? <laughs> going in. Ooh. Just kidding. No room. <laughs> so I'm an intern as a performance chef as of last week and from like Scotch Plains, New Jersey. You enjoying Jersey. it? Jersey! Yes, you enjoying it so far? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Huge shout out to the vlog for getting me a sense of how everything operates around here and show up the beautiful facility we're at. So you were able to watch him before you came here? Yes, I made sure because it was definitely some good footage to give me an idea of how everything runs and all the players. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Rob. People like me, I don't get to go all the way back home, so it's good to uh, actually buy with my brothers and, you know, for the seniors, it'll be the last time with them, so. What about the food? Ready to eat the food? Oh, look delicious, look at it, man. I'm excited to eat it, man. I'm ready to go savage some food. <laughs> this right here, five-star meal right here, baby. We eating good, I can't be at the crib. But I feel like it, you know what I'm saying, with this good food. How you feeling about that? You know, I love to eat. The more you eat, the, more, yeah. the bigger you get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. That's the way it's at right there. The more the better? The more the better. The more the better. Oh, so good. We gonna give it a try. That looks delish right there. That look like your, uh, your auntie made it, you know what I mean? What's up? It ain't right if everything ain't touching. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Throw it on top. <laughs> 